1-800, thank you so much for the gift of memberships. Thank you so, so much. Also, Silent as well. Eighth left at the very beginning. Thank you so, so, so much. We are about to start in just one second. Just trying to set up my freaking audio because for some reason my audio is not being captured. baby you know the fucking drill here we are about to play this game for some reason the music is so freaking loud holy crap the music is so damn loud <laughs> how's it going hunky toes my name is bouncing hawk the coolest and the cutest exorcist of bouncing and and today we're going to be playing petite game collection from needy streamer overdose uh as, as usual, make sure to check the trigger warning at the very pinned comment. This game can get a little bit heavy. This game can get a little bit funky. We're gonna try to like navigate it as safe as possible, but do be um do be aware that it can get a little bit dark and funky. So if you're if you don't buy with that type of content, if it's not good for you, you can of course skip the stream. You can cover your eyes, close your eyes. I'll protect you, Hakito. Hello. How are we all doing? <laughs> Dude, holy shit, so much is happening. So much is legit happening. AK, okay, they got the five gifted. Thank you to all the new member Hakitos. To all the new member Hakitos, make sure to enjoy all the Hakapillas that are currently available for all my covers and all my uploads. Coming soon, another one will be added to the collection. You know, wink, wink, wonk, wonk. Uh, stay tuned for Sunday. But yes, thank you so much for all the memberships. Welcome, enjoy all the goodies that we have. And if you want to go ahead and upgrade to another membership tier from that gifted membership, you're welcome, welcome to do so. There are a lot of other perks and gifts that we have for you there so thank you so much for your welcome and thank you so much for the gifted thank you holy shit pr pr expert bouncing haka member of of the marketing association <laughs> yes but for lego thank you for the gifted <laughs> you get the haka booma tier tree exactly you surely do <laughs> hi burby it's my birthday oh shit happy birthday june just want to say thank you for being one of my main motivations this past couple months. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you so much for, for, for your super chat, Jun. I hope you have a lovely and wonderful birthday. Thank you so, 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 so much. Also, Stardy, thank you so much for the super chat. Dude, holy shit. You want... Ah. Shut up. Satsu, Satsu section of the stream. <laughs> so much shit going on. So much happened today. So much happened today. So much happened today. My duet with Fuma Senpai is out. We covered Night Dancer. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to check it out on Fuma Senpai's channel. Dude, we ate that shit up. We legit, legit had so much fun doing it. It was honestly such a wonderful experience being able to record and do such a nice like collaboration with my Senpai. It's <laughs> certainly a very different sound of myself that you guys are used to but trust me it's worth it make sure to give it lots of love lots of love 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 i would love to i'm gonna see if it's possible to maybe get the acapella for it i'm not sure though because it was a project that was you know mainly managed by fuma senpai but i'm honored i'm honestly very very honored that i was invited to you know sing a song with him i really respect him a lot and i'm very happy <laughs> he sent me such a sweet message after uploading it <laughs> so i'm very I'm in my mood right now. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm on my mood seas because I'm like, I'm like so soft and so like warm. Because like Fuma Senpai was like, remember, I am your brother here in Japan. And I'm like, ah, I love you so much, Fuma Senpai. <laughs> it was really, really fun. It was legit really, really fun. Holy shit, I'm so excited. Ah. <laughs> but also, yeah, today, 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 Gavin's Battle New Outfit. It got announced. It's going to be on Friday. Are you guys fucking excited? Holy shit. Holy moly. Holy moly. Gavis Battle new fucking outfit. Dude. <laughs> it's insane. So much is happening this week. I have a shit ton of streams. We got the HQ 3D collab on Saturday. I have a new cover on Sunday. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. Everything's like happening. Like, I don't know what happened to February, but February is like fucking jam-packed. There's like so much things happening. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really insane. It's really, really insane. There's like so much shit to do. It's a banger. 
A banger of a week, I shall say so myself. And yeah, Tempris Armors Edition, a new cover. I have a hand cam. We have the Hakito Host Club. Holy shit, dude. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Before we started, I just wanted to give out like the whole, like everything that's happening because he's, dude, I woke up and he's just like, holy shit. This week is like really fucking packed. It's insane. <laughs> but yeah, you know what happens in special Satsudans? I really shouldn't. I mean, there are new Hakitos here. I forget that. So, special Satsudans are special for a reason. And you might find out. <laughs> but heck yeah. Oh my lord, dude. I'm so excited. I'm like so fucking. Ugh, I'm like shaking right now with so much excitement. I'm like shaking with so much fucking like energy. <laughs> I just started streaming. I was like, holy fuck. I can't wait to talk about everything. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane, insane, insane. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. Marketing section of the freaking stream ended. We're gonna play Petite Game Collection today. Dude. I'm so fucking. I'm legit so fucking excited to play this. Because I really did enjoy Needy Streamer Overdose. And it, this seems to be like a like a small like mini game collection. Like I'm not sure if they're the ones that appear on the game, or if, or if these are like brand new like like you know just like it's a, it's a brand new edition. I I saw bits of Flam playing it, and it has um it kind of has like a like a visual novel section, but I'm not sure. My cheating wife, yeah, dude, I, I miss her. She might have cucked me, but I I still love her. What's this? Please wait, please wait warmly as it loads. What the fuck? What? Excuse me? Hold up. Is this one of these games that have like a weird launcher for each thing? It says please wait warmly. We're warming up apparently. Wait, hold up. What the fuck? This is so weird. Show to a minute, please. Yeah, it's like a it's 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 like a different window. Yeah, I just I just want to make sure this is the one that I'm like. I'm gonna capture Choten Survivor. Oh, it is. Oh my god, that scared me. Holy fuck. <laughs> that scared me, dude. These are like those fucking games that they just like pop out of nowhere. They kill the main window. All right. The music's banger though, holy crap. Holy crap. Wait, hold up, I'm like zoning out. Okay, this should be it. What the fuck? It's like, this is like strange. This is so fucking weird. Hold up. There it is, oh my God. <laughs> Why is this game like this? Totten Survivor. The music does go really hard. It's like a mixture of like, um, Kirby. It kind of feels like Kirby music. Okay, press Q for options. BGM 100, SFX 100, Windows, full screen, sound test, okay. Press Q to return title. I guess these are like, really, really are mini games, huh? This is like a, like a bullet hell one, I think. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> hey cuties! I'm Kato, your favorite internet angel! Guess where I am today? I'm here at the Comic Cat, the secret pilgrimage site for all nerds! Phew! Look at all these people! I wonder if there's anything I can turn into a content. What? Oh my god! <laughs> The guy's just like, <laughs> whoa, it's Kanjo. Hello, my kitty nerd. Um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> ah, oh no, an IRL life death threat. What? Kanjo. <laughs> I love you! Shut up! 
Stop dying! Kill yourself! Shut the fuck up, Lamel! What is this game? My fucking god! They're all so rude! You filthy nerds. Take your mats and go to sleep! Bless! Bless the chat, everybody! Bless! Tuskaru! Bless! This is gonna be- This is gonna be me and I'm eating greed, dude. <laughs> Defeat the nerds? What? Oh, what the fuck? This is Plan vs. Zombies! Oh god, I'm killing them! Holy shit! What? Oh god. What the fuck is this? Pick a wish. Check medicine. Laser pills. Bullets. Check medicines. So sure. Wait, what? How did I pick it? Check medicine. Bullets. Laser pills. Huh? Oh fuck, I choose laser pills. Dude. <laughs> With X, yeah, it's confusing. It doesn't tell you anything unless I missed it because of my fucking, like, overlay. Holy crap. Yeah, Blast, Blast is literally a, a reference for an original game, which is, I mean, whenever you guys come in Toskaru, that's literally Blast. You guys are saying, like, I'm blessed. Dude. I love the style, though. It's, it's like, three-dimensional mixed with, like, you know, like, tr like, 3D, like, like, 2D elements. I like that. More laser pills. I like them. Oh, my God. It kind of feels like Paper Mario. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, basically, bless is Tuskaru. If, if like, the, the meaning is the same, you know? It's like an English version of saying, like, Tuskaru. Because, like, Tuskaru means, like, you saved me. I'm blessed. Because it comes from, like, Taskete. Yeah, this looks fun. It's really fun. Okay. Tracking capsule. Laser pills. What's a tracking capsule for? Is this like a like a home and missile? Oh god. They're getting stronger red now. Holy shit. They are! Oh my god, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Easy, easy. Right, gamer mode. Fuck it. We ball. We ball. Me at the meet and greet. <laughs> Chick medicine. I'm scared of this one. Oh my god, is that a boss? Holy shit. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're having a boss fight already. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, this is sick though! This is actually very fucking fun! It's a Robo Nerd! It's a Mechatronic Nerd! Oh shit. Dude, I really vibe with the aesthetic of this game. I really like the 2D element in the, in the 3D field. Oh god. It's the Hakito Medicine. So they can Hakito fly. Oh god. I wonder if it's like fucking Final Fantasy, where the animation is the one that targets you, but the actual attack is like, you know, not there. Like a fucking AoE or something. Oh my god. I kind of want to see if my Tyri is right. At the same time, I'm scared and I die. What the fuck? Dude, the, the OSD is such a banger! Stage clear, okay! Tell me we have more stages, dude. What the fuck? This is so good. Yeah. Goodbye, cuties and girls. Dot 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 dot. I did it. Never thought I'd get attacked by robots today. There she is. Let me smile. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smash! There's more! 
angel. Get the fuck out of your girl. Ah, I'm so sick of this. This will be your final bless. <laughs> what the fuck? Defeat more nerds, okay? Fuck, I guess I want more trekking capsules, dude, because they're actually kind of kind of fucking powerful. God, they're getting bigger and bigger. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm so happy it started with this one. If there are four mini games in this whole fucking game, I'm so happy I started with this one, dude. This is actually so fucking fun. The mu oh, fuck. Oh, I got hit by one. Okay. We need the uh, more tracking actually in case we get another weird boss like that. Oh shit. <laughs> this is so good. Dude, I, I, I'm a firm believer that all games should have a bullet hell representative. This is good shit. This is actually really good. More tracking, tracking capsules, they're good. Oh my god. Holy shit. These are violent. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I got a clear path, okay. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I love my Toho moment, dude. It's, fun, it's funny because it even has like the, like the skills and everything, like skill up. Laser pills. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. It's getting harder. The red dudes are so fucking weird. Oh my god. Ugh. Uh oh. 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 Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh oh. Yeah, they should make a Hakita Bullet game, dude. That'll go so hard. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, I'm getting cornered. Uh, okay. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> okay, more chick medicine. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh my lord. Oh god. What the fuck is this? No! Wait, did he die? I thought I got hit for a second! Ouch! The music's getting so fucking loud. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good! <laughs> Press X. Get lost, you stinky gamers! Oh! It never ends. Die! Um, can I ask you something? Yes, ma'am. Are you coming from the station? Yes, we came by train. Oh, I see. <laughs> the trains, huh? I'm gonna go check the station out for a second. This will be your final. Daskaru! <laughs> yeah, we just get an my son, dude. Defeat even more nerds. What is this game? What is this fucking bullet hell thing? <laughs> I'm having so much fucking fun. Oh god, these guys are violent though. At least the laser is really effective against this. We should invest more in lasers. Dude, the music's so fucking good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How's the dance that people do in idol concerts called? What the? What the game? Do not reinforce? Nah, fuck you. Chick medicine. Oh god! What the game, right? Yeah. I hear like the what the game references in the background. It's actually pretty fucking sick. I can just hear like a hey, ooh, hey! Ooh, hey! Right, chick medicine. We go. Fucking wee ball. Ugh. 
Let us teach you. <laughs> you guys know how to do what that game? You guys better do for my songs in the concert. Dude, you know what I should do? I should do like... Like, um... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, coordinated? Like... What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Coordinated? Like... Choreographies for my songs. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, um... Usually, like, Visual K clubhouses and Visual K bands. They upload videos with, like... We like organize like chore choreographies of the song. <laughs> it's so sick. <laughs> like chants, that'd be so cool, dude. Hopefully one day. Hopefully one day we can do that. That'll be really sick. I'll love to see that, dude. Like a room full of hakitos, a room full of people just going crazy, like doing like orchestrated like uh, like you know choreographies and shit like that. That'll be so fucking sick. <laughs> <clears throat> I keep saying this, but I should really get into more idol shit, dude. I really keep saying, oh, I'm gonna get into this and this and this and this. And I'm a liar. I'm a faker. Oh my god, a train! Holy crap! Oh god! Oh shit! It kind of like a con response! I, wanna, I really wanna get into end stars, too. I wanna get more into end stars. I wanna get more into fucking, um, what's the other one? Uh, idolish seven. I want to get even more into, like, Utapri. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, God. Dude, the train's beating my ass. And Star's Mansion! Fuck yeah. Adonis, my Oshi. Oh, God. Adonis and, uh, what's, what's the other guy? Koga? The guy with, like, the, the very wolfy guy? It's kind of like a mixture of me and Axel. <laughs> Also, there's, there's, there's this dude that really looks like me. He literally has purple hair and blue eyes and like long eyes as well. Who the hell is that? Who the fuck is that? He looks so much like me. My ears. Ugh. Oh God, I'm so sorry, my ears. Oh, it, it, it spikes up in fucking volume. Is it Soma, really? Is, is, is that how he's called, Soma? Soma? Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna investigate later. Turn it down, silly? I can, because if I turn it down, you guys can't hear shit. Oh, we're done. <laughs> that was so sick. What the fuck? That was actually so fucking sick. I want this to be a full-blown game. Not when I play Toll Hunt fucking stream, dude. All the stupid nerds are gone. Hell yeah. I got some good, <laughs> some good content ideas today, too. My, welcome. Thank you for your membership. Tell me how well I did, P-Tan. Well, you are pretty average. <laughs> no, this is the game. This is the end of the first mini game. We still have like three left. Holy crap. That was pretty fun, though. Let me see. I think I could probably like, if I lowered the volume from here, I could probably, well, the game flashes, that's scary. I think the game should still be okay like this. <laughs> that was really cool. That was really cool. Okay. Okay, that was really sick. Why does it flash? I don't know, the, the programming of the game is a little bit odd. For sure. Like, the just the way, it's basically a, a, a multi-lancher for, for mini games, you know? Okay. Sound test, I think it should be all good to go. Holy fuck, that was fun though. That was really, really good. Okay, let me load up the other game. I have to hide this. I'm, I'm scared that she's gonna like fucking like flash my IP or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> my, welcome to the membership though. Thank you so much for your membership. Okay. There was a sound test button. What? Like a like a native sound test? The fuck was his what the fuck was that bottom for? <laughs> okay, hold up, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna flash my Mac address and we're gonna be so fucking over, dude. It's gotta be bad. Okay, hold up. Oh no, I almost I almost opened Peglin by accident. We almost changed the whole fucking game. Okay, there it is. Music time. 
Okay, so we just finished the bullet hell one. That was the best one. What the fuck? Don't die, Kangel. A shitting game where I get to raise down some nerds. But first, go take a shower. Kangel Rube, come on in, but only if you're really, really, really bored. Ama's happy, happy dating game. I don't know who this Ama is, but she's very, she's pretty cute, which means you get to go on a date with a cute girl. Isn't that exciting? Should we do that one? Or Breakout Kangel, a block-breaking game that reveals stuff. But don't you dare play it, because it's super embarrassing. You can see the day one. We should go with the day one. Let's go with the day one. Hold up. Yeah, I'm just waiting for this game to like load so I can like capture it. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this game? What? Oh, my ears! Hold up. Oh my Jesus Christ. Ouch. 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 Oh God. Oh my Lord, my ears. Dude, I fucking love it though. Banger. <laughs> Why is this so fucking loud? Okay, Cholten Survivor? Is it this one again? Or which one is it? Think your dog heard the music? Dude, mine too. What the fuck is this game? Hold up. Huh? Wait, guys, I'm like so fucking confused over like this game. This game's so weird to capture. How the hell did Flan do this? Did he have issues like this as well? Hold up, let me just like close this. Let me close the game. How the hell? How the hell did Flan capture this? Holy fuck. Banger though. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Almost there? Okay. <laughs> let me close it. Let me close it and let me open it again. Hold up. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. I'm gonna close all my fucking like windows because I feel this game's gonna like do like a ha ha doxes you by accident type of fucking deal. So I'm just gonna close everything but fucking um uh I'm gonna close everything. I'm gonna close everything but the game. <laughs> this is so fucking disturbing. I really don't know. I, I really don't know like you know what this uh what this uh what you call it. What this developer might be up to. I mean, it should be safe because it's a, it's in Steam, but you really don't know. Okay, let me open it again. How needy needy streamer over over those like ruin my life for fucking real, dude. Sorry, hey dude, welcome. to give the ten months. <laughs> English, okay. I'm as happy happy dating game. Yeah, it's better safe than sorry, right? Okay. Wait, what? Chromian? This is not even like the original game. This is legit just like... Ha! Huh? Oh my lord. Hold up, guys. I get distracted by the music. Wait, hold up. I have to go to my... Let me go here real quick, okay? Let me go here real quick. You guys can still listen to the music, though. <laughs> this is the best stream I've ever watched. Thank you for such an amazing content. Truly, enough of the content. Slash J, I love you. No, oh, thank you. This is the most fucking unprepared stream ever. Because, like, I had no idea how to fucking capture this game. I should have asked fucking Flayon. <laughs> I 
I should have asked why on late. What how, how the fuck did you did you capture this game, buddy? Remember the BRB screen you never use? I, I have not configured it yet. If I had it, I would have. What is this game? Transform. Reset transform. Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm so confused. I'm scared. Okay. I think it's capturing now. I'm just scared this game's just gonna jump and do some weird shit. <laughs> I have to capture it using window mode. And I'm like terrified. I'm like so fucking terrified. God, the music's so good though. I'm as happy, happy dating game. <laughs> the sun's so fucking funny, I know. Oh, you guys can see my little like cursor. Okay. Yeah, my cursor just got docs, dude. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. Okay, new game. Fuck it, we ball. Peachan, let's go on a date today. Oh no. The one who spoke was a well-dressed girl who liked to dream big and call her partner a stupidly cute nickname. Like Peachan, her name was Ame, and she was my girlfriend. Her black skirt fluttered around her thighs as she hovered excitedly, sort of like a fly busting over a pile of garbage. <laughs> she, what the fuck is that comparison? Her black skirt fluttered around her thighs as she hovered excitedly, sort of like a fly busting over a pile of garbage. I'm pretty sure that if I say that to a girl, I'll be in big trouble. I think I'll actually be in really big trouble if I actually do have say that. If I, I do say if I say that to a girl and be like, "Hey, girl, <laughs> you look magnificently like a fly today. It's almost like you're hovering over the trash." <laughs> yeah, look at this little dude here. I wonder who he is. Poetic. And it was so cute. She knew she was cute, better than anyone. In fact. Every single one of her movements was exaggerated for the perfect effect, and it always worked. She was the star of her own show, running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. She knew she could get away with it too, because of how adorable she was. She wielded her own cuteness like a weapon that could get her anything she wanted. Although she had a childish charm to her, she had the cunning mind of a better tactician. Are they talking about me or her? <laughs> who, who, who is this who, who is this guy talking about like <laughs> who is this who is this guy talking about thanks for working so hard for me at the time <laughs> I know you fell asleep at your desk because you were up all night editing videos for me so I feel kind of bad for waking you up but I'm in fidgeted with her hair and look at me apologetically her thick, glossy locks hung on the two pigtails in a long fringe that covered half of her face. She could cry all she wanted from her hidden eye, and no one would be none of the wiser. It was an extra layer of protection, along with her over-the-top acting. That's my theory, anyway. Legend has said that no one has ever seen the left half of Amma's face. Not even, a, not, not even I'm private to what's underneath her bangs. What is... This is like a dramatic reading, dude. This is such a fucking dramatic reading. <laughs> she can only cry. Dude, she's like so... She's so good at acting that she can only be like sad on her fucking right side. <laughs> this is beautiful. Alright, sleepyhead. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Do my skincare routine and get changed. But she's already fucking changed in full on makeup. Is she like those, those those type of girlies that are like, I woke up like this? What the fuck is she doing? 
Huck, I beg you, please save yourself. Look at your heart broken again. Save yourself, dude. Nah, man. I got a chase for danger. Never stick your dick in crazy? Fuck no. I'm going full in! You better be ready for a day by the time I'm done. <laughs> she beamed at me, her smile warm and bright like the sun. She was so beautiful and adorable. <laughs> like a little flower begging me to pick her. How could I ever say no to her? People say that every beautiful rose has its thorns, but I think it's a little different for Ave. Her arms were covered in thin scars that ran across them haphazardly. If she had thorns, then those thorns were hurting her too. But flowers don't do that, so why would she be instead? How to think of it a super chat, by the way. What is this fucking... Th what's going on? He can fix her? No, I have the feeling she's gonna make me worse. She's crying from that eye! She's crying from that eye! This bitch is crying, look! And I don't want to hear you complaining about this date being too short notice or whatever, okay? Love is unpredictable like that. Or don't you care about me enough to keep up? A single tear rolled out her cheek for her right eye. All traces of her earlier smile had disappeared as she's a sadness pulled the corners of her lips downward. She wailed as she swung into a full blown break down? Wait, what? A single tear rolled down her cheek for her right eye. All traces of her earlier smile had disappeared as sadness pulled the corners of her lip downward. She wailed as she swung into a full blown breakdown. So she was happy, and now suddenly she's having a fucking mental breakdown. Holy shit, I'm- I'm an asshole! I broke her heart! Wah! Boo-hoo! <laughs> you don't even love me, do you? You're just with me because you won the super chest! I squeed out from my nerf pants! No! It's called emotional abuse, you know? God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she sniffled and wiped the tears from her face. Her cheeks took on a pinkish tint as her eyes continued to leak and grow puffy. Rather than diminish her looks, however, it only served to make her already enormous eyes look even bigger. So crying is a buff for her. Is this what my Oshi is into? Making women cry? <laughs> Mueller. <laughs> Only of happiness. <laughs> I think it's been 11 months. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, she fucking has like pink eye because like her, her, her eyes are like pinkish and shit. Of course, all of this was an act too. I may have perfected the craft on crying on command and making it look like really convincing. As a streamer, she needed precise control over her emotions, turning on whatever she wanted like a switch. To elicit certain reactions for her viewers, it was her job to cry and smile with purpose or even get so riled up she could snap a keyboard and help. <laughs> I was familiar with all of this as so someone who lived with her and cared for her in a romantic capacity. Yeah, dude, this is literally me. Me with me, me with Ricardo. <laughs> Are you just with us for the super chats? Fuck no. <laughs> I would sell you to Satan for a fucking corn chip. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Dazzy. Me when I girl boss, right? She says, I knew everything about Ame. I knew that this charade she was putting on was her way of showing her love towards me. Uh, uh-huh. I also knew that if I ever saw her crying real tears, it could only mean one thing, that things will be over between us. Strange anime, thank you for the five months, I appreciate it. Damn, this guy is like a... She, he's like in a toxic, toxic, toxic relationship. Standing behind the bookcase in another dimension. Haka, no! Stands up his heart enough to cause a book to fall. No! Don't do the crazy! Get out! I do what I want. 
<laughs> Thank you for the super chat, AK. But even though I knew this wasn't real, she was still crying. And no proper human being will leave a girl crying. Yeah, yeah, they're right, they're right, they're right, they're right. I can't stand seeing someone cry. If someone's crying, my my first instinct is to like fix that. Stop crying! But not as saying like the I don't care about your feelings, but like I want you to stop crying because I hate seeing you sad, but I understand you're sad and it's normal to be sad, but at the same time, I, I wanna fix your problems, but I know problems can be fixed immediately. <laughs> That's how I fucking think. She's <laughs> she's a big red flag. Don't worry because my favorite color is red. Me. <laughs> it's you got to give it a super tad. She's just a little bit silly, Burby. We can fix her. No, we can make her we can make her worse. <laughs> I could treat her wrong. <laughs> it was simple enough to understand how much how such chaos would eat away at one's mental well-being. But only those who've been through the same thing could truly empathize. Maybe the money and attention really were as intoxicating as she made it out to be. But even so, could this hell truly be worth it to her? Alright! Now that we're going on this date, says me, let's decide on where to go. Choose wisely, because it could make me love or hate you more. Did I also mention that it will affect what ending? There's multiple fucking endings. There's no way. Well, now I have. If you ask me, I'm in with stuck. She had real skill and talent. She was a smart girl. Every night, she would don her silly custom as an internet angel and stream under the name. Oh, my God. Kawaii Angel. Just Kangel. For now on, because saying the full thing every time is way too much effort. Her streams gathered hundreds of thousands of nerds from all the cyberspace every night, and all the respect, lust, jealousy, hate, love, and boredom that congregated were compiled into a neat little metric known as the viewer count. Then, that number would determine how much money she would receive for her efforts. Fucking hardcore, dude. Holy shit. It didn't matter what interactions her viewers went into her stream with, what intentions her viewers went into her streams with, the important thing was that they became another number of the pile of numbers that ended up as cashing her bank account. <laughs> Me when I put on my 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 Kangel outfit. <laughs> right now I'm Ame though. Look at my look at my um dark clothes. And boy, did she have a lot of those numbers. Not to toot my own horn, but I had a very big hand in keeping those figures up. Ame was hugely depending on me during her daily life, and most of the logistics of her streams were handled by me too. But that's enough about that. The undeniable thing was, her overwhelming char was what made her career possible. Stats drove people crazy. <laughs> Those numbers pushed them to the brink. At some point, I almost have wondered whether I love her for who she was or for the numbers she produced. We started off as two broke asses who found comfort in each other, without any money in the equation. I think that we had, I think what we had was genuine love for one another. Now neither of us could be sure anymore. On the other hand, it was possible that we were now too close for either of us to stick ourselves. No matter how hard she tried to ignore it, there will always be one persistent worry at the back of her mind. Maybe I can't be I, maybe I can't be satisfied with my partner anymore. The image of us splitting could be looping in her head. Dude, she fucking cheated on me! Last fucking game! She like cut me with another content creator. It was something the two of us had to ever come together though. What does being in a relationship mean? Could we take the steps into the future together hand in hand? These were the questions we had to face. I mean, it was a middle school dropout who had a terrible personality, could do stupid things sometimes. She was always thinking about things much more than an average person. <laughs> yeah, I'm still pissed. <laughs> I treated her so well. <laughs> if her head was really empty, so people like to say, she would never have made it so big as a streamer. She was the kind of person who would rather be direct and spring a surprise date on her partner and try some elaborate scheme to beat me to one. There was the hope that the element of surprise will bring back the butterflies we both felt when we started dating too. For the practical angle, I guess this is like a really this is like a really good like prequel to like get to know like um Ame more from the original game because like you you really didn't get to know her as much, but this kind of gives like context. Of like what happened to the game, so this is kind of like spoilery if it, if it kind of makes sense, you know. It really is. 
From a practical angle, it was also a good way to assess how one's partner deal with an unexpected and potentially stressful situation. But she was the kind of person who would rather be the wreck and spring a surprise date on her partner than try some elaborate scheme to bait me to one. There was the hope that the element of surprise will bring back the butterflies we will felt when we started dating, true from a practical angle. It was also a good way to assess how one's partner would deal with an unexpected and potentially stressful situation. I mean, we'll all want someone who can handle both well. Dude, he's like psycho yeah, he's like psychoanalyzing her just by staring at her. And and Ami's probably like, huh? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I got to know her pretty well, but this is kind this kind of gives like a deep, you know? Like a deep in sort of deal. Are we back? <laughs> she cut down my internet! <laughs> she got me! She got me hard! She took that comment personally, yeah! She took it personal! <laughs> I'm his eyes sparkle like a thousand diamonds. I didn't care if this was an act or not. <laughs> Gas, what's good, dude? <laughs> I would mod you, but as you can see, I close all my fucking windows because I'm scared this game's just gonna fucking jump and dox me. <laughs> Welcome. I wanted to believe that underneath her long. <laughs> <coughs> Some people cope with trauma. Some people cope with habits. This bitch cop copes with her long ass hair. <laughs> I wanted to believe that underneath her long bangs, her left eye was also shining the brightest star in the sky. I see. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited! Whatever happened to us in the future, I just want us to be happy. Yeah, he has like an eye thing, dude. He's like really into eyes. Okay. Let's pick up a place to have our date. Oh, well, the sprites are so cute, though. This is a really cute art style. P-Chan, I'll go wherever you go, unless it's jail. Then, no. <laughs> Oh my god, Nakano Broadway? Dude, I wanna go I wanna go to Nakano Broadway next time I, I go to Japan. So Nakano Broadway, it's kinda like Akiba, but for like kinda like older anime. Kinda like anime that's a little bit more like, you know, like like um dark, like very like uh, underground and stuff like that. It's better. It's actually like it's like not better than Akiba, but I say like for like OG 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 fans. It's kind of like a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah, it's really cool. I really want to go to Nakano Broadway sometime. So arcade, Nakano Broadway, hospital, urban exploration, beach, and childhood home. Hospital date. Let's go to Nakano Broadway. Let's go to Nakano Broadway. What? Hold on. For Nakano Station, if you if you left through the north exit and walked to the end of Nakano Sun Mall. You would find yourself face to face with a mixed residential and commercial building. Hey, this is like a Broadway, known for being the mecca for nerdy stuff. I love this place. Nice choice, Pichan. Of course. I give us practically be. <laughs> See, it's practically baby shit compared to Nakano. It's time to get really freaking geeky. This is the kind of place I best enjoy once a month. We step inside, ready to be swept out by its holy corridors. Making it to that kind of Broadway could be for people like us a pilgrimage. Entering its hallowed halls made us devout believers of subcultures, regardless of whether or not the other visitors had that kind of mindset. By the way, if you didn't know, the ground floor, better known as the first floor, is used as a thoroughfare. But keep going north and you'll eventually end up at the Arai Arayakushi side. There you'll find nary a nerdy shop. Those who were unaware of the location status as a nerd hub would be none of the wiser. Unlike Aki Akihabara, where the nerdiness was spread throughout, it was only concentrated in one spot of Nakano. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of like uh, Natsukashi, like nostalgia, like, like you know, like elements in Nakano Broadway. Malas, thank you for the eight months. Thank you so much. Wow, the first floor actually looks kind of normal, except for the giant mandarake. 
Isn't Mandarake like the used goods store? <laughs> you can find like a lot of like VTuber stuff there. And like anime stuff, right? Isn't it like a store? Mandarake? It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a good like a good store. Yeah, a bunch of anime used stuff. Dude, it's it's a golden mine. That's where I discovered Charisma House. <laughs> because of my manager. JK, there's a shop selling gotcha and, and Pouchmon cards too. This place is nerdy as hell. Oh my god, a shop that's always having closing down sales to draw customers in. I thought they all died out in Akiba, but it looks like it still got some of its can here. Pouchmon. It was crowded here in the first floor, but of course it was. As any thoroughfare would be, as such as this was where all the normie shops were, we will only start seeing the really nerdy stuff in the second floor up. Also, if you plan on visiting the second floor, make sure you take the stairs. The lift will take you straight to the third floor, so watch out. Dude, okay. This is something that freaked me out about Japan. Certain shops only had... Okay. So they have an elevator. They have an elevator that's like floor one, four, seven, nine. And I was just like, what the fuck? Where are the rest of the floors? So what you would have to do, what you would have to do is like you will go down on floor two, go three, four, five, six, go back down to floor two to go to floor seven. I'm not kidding you. There are stores like that that are very, very like, like, you know, specific. You can only reach a certain spot with an elevator and then you have to go down via the stairs. And the stairs are like super narrow because they get lost a lot. Kind of, but at the same time, no, because I was in the anime store. So I was just exploring. I was just like, ooh, like, you know, watching everything. But like, there are some stores that are like super narrow. That like the stair, the staircases are like super narrow and there's people coming up and down. So you kind of have to do like the little like dance tango. You have to go like sideways and be like, oh, excuse me. Sorry, I don't see what you just have to go up or down. And then you go down there and you take the elevator for the other floor. And then if you try to find stairs, there's no stairs. Nothing. Legit, nothing. Like, I thought there's no fucking way. There have to be stairs. No. They we're locked up. There might have been stairs for, like, staff members. But I, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's really interesting. You move a lot in Japan because of like stairs and like buildings like that. That seems like a fire hazard. I have no idea. I have no, I, they might have like an emergency exit, you know, obviously they have to have like an emergency exit or the buildings wouldn't be up, but I think they're probably not open for like, you know, like general public. It's interesting. And also the bathrooms, there's only bathrooms in, in X amount of floors. And sometimes, like, the ladies' bathroom will be, like, in one floor, and the other bathroom will be in the other floor, and then they have, like, a normal bathroom in the other floor, and it will be, like, all this, like, it's, 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 it's interesting. It is better to not to use Japanese elevators. They're very small. They're very, very small. That's what I noticed. They're, like, super small, but I enjoyed it. It was, like, honestly, for me, it was, like, exploration. I really, really enjoyed it. What, so am I gonna have to piss in the floor? <laughs> mean Shinjuku, dude. I almost shitted myself there. <laughs> with her expert knowledge, or maybe confidential luck, I'm gonna bounce over the stairs and hit it up without even giving the normie shop so, so much as a glance. <laughs> oh, look! All these trading cards and old books and these anime girl, plast anime girl plastic vinyl figures. I'm gonna call them that. I'm gonna call them dad now. Anime girl plastic vinyl figures. <laughs> Dojin she's and it okay, huh? Flail would love that. They really got everything here, huh? Damn, this game shop's got some really good stuff. There's stacks of really rare retro games in the window. Holy shit! That's expensive. Well, duh. There will be. <laughs> there will be. Everyone who works here probably has all the good shit memorized. Damn. I was kind of hoping I'll be able to score some bargains like those local second-hand sh second shops. 
like just slap prices or whatever. Sad. I mean, probably already knew that she would have no luck, but held out to hope anyway in case she, where she would score something good for a stream. She was probably talk, talking this much to practice for what she would say tonight, too. Truth be told, there were rarely any places left that would sell rare things for cheap, even out in the boonies. Yes and no. <clears throat> yes and no, because I, I did my fair amount of exploration. Like, you know, inside Tokyo, outside of Tokyo. Or nearing Tokyo. There are some places that you can kind of find retro stuff for, like, a really good price. Compared to, like, places in, like, you know, Tokyo where they're, like, a little bit, like, overpriced. Or the price obviously goes up because they're, like, you know, <clears throat> in a very centric place. So it's very interesting. It's very interesting. It's really cool to, like, you know, just, like, investigate and, like, travel and explore. I really enjoyed it. I had, like, so much fucking fun. Truth be told, there were rarely, uh... The shops that lasted this long were able to do so because they knew the highest price they could sell their stock at. Ooh. I did get a couple things on my trip, but not that much because, you know, I was, like, drinking ice soup while I was there. But hopefully next time that I go, I want to have, like, a blue budget for, like, cool stuff I can buy. But I did find a lot of, like, very cool, like, retro things. <clears throat> I saw them. I took a couple pictures. Plus, the places that tried to beat the competition by listing their items below market value would get their good snap so quickly. You'll hardly have time to blink. Not to say the bargain hunting was impossible these days because it wasn't. But you have to be incredibly lucky. Yeah, my taxi fund drained me, dude. I, I don't even want to think about it. I really don't even want to fucking think about it. Because if I if I think about it and I add up all those taxis I took... It'd be the pretty penny. Yeah. Super Potato! I loved Super Potato. Because they had, like, so much, like, you know, like, Famicom, like, cassettes. They had a lot of, like, you know, like, uh, Sega Saturn, like, Gen like Genesis. That's, that's the same thing, Sega Saturn Genesis. Um, they had, like, a uh, Dreamcast. They had, like, a lot of stuff. It was really fucking cool. <laughs> but, yeah, my taxi fun, dude. Hell no. I'm walking er I'm walking everywhere now. I'm not even gonna take the train. I'm just gonna, like, straight up, like, walk in a straight line. <laughs> There's even cafes here. Maybe I should just retire and open a chill cafe here. Oops, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? Nakano Broadway was an old building with over 55 years of history. The call for its demolition could happen any day. So running a shop that needed a lot of time to build a customer base here, like a cafe, was a risky gamble. Thankfully, it was not enough to stop those who truly love these holy grounds. Dude, she, no, no, that's him. That's Peachan talking. Can she fix me? No, she'll make me worse. <laughs> Good on that go. Thank you for the year. Thank you for the 12 months. Why are you purple? This game is um, a petite game collection for needy streamer overdose. It's a series of mini games of like, you know, Amichan, Kinjo, and the whole like franchise. The nerdiness is even stronger up here. With all this gum blam and rider exclusive shops, you won't really see this even in Akiba. Dude, that's really cool. Cause like there's a lot of like Tokusatsu. Tokusatsu stuff in like um Nakano. There's a lot of like Godzilla shit. Like Tokusatsu, like you know, Godzilla, like cool stuff. That's so fucking sick. Ah, oh, dude. I really wanna go. When when I go. I'm gonna record a little, a little blog for for people that don't have like the access to go to Nakano Broadway. I wanna record a little blog for every little place I go. Like a small like three minute blog, five minute blog. I think that'll be really cool. Because I think like there are some places that the exploration of it, yeah, it's cool to see it in person, but I know, you know, I know not, not everyone has like the privilege that, you know, you go to Japan and stuff like that. But the next time I go to Japan, I'm going to make little small blocks like that or even shorts. I think that'll be really cool. You're really very otaku? I am. <laughs> and I'm still learning more. Super Potato, did you behold the life-size snake? I went to the Super Potato in Akiba. But they had a they had a Sonic. Not a, not a snake, sadly. <laughs> Thank you for the five months, Garten. This place is basically nostalgia heaven for parents. I can see them buying toys here so they can live their glory days vicariously to their kids. But I guess the kids will be happy to be surrounded by so many books and toys. 
This is a weird place for sure. But maybe that's why a lot of fam families come here. <clears throat> this place has probably turned hundreds of kids into geeks who grow into robot and toku loving adults. <laughs> Dude, it was... Oh my god. Did I ever tell you guys this story? So I was at a, I was at a karaoke bar. Like an Anisan karaoke bar. And it was like... You know, like, my manager, of course. And... Uh, how does Axel call him again? The Hugh... Hugh Main? I don't know, like the... Uh, well, he's like... My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Made huge money, right? It's my money and him. And we went there to karaoke because they both love karaoke. Yeah. Yeah, we both love karaoke. And we were just sitting down, just singing, really cool. Everybody has their turn. It's like a little round. It's like a round robin, to, uh, like sort of deal. Yeah, I watch. Uh, I, I watch Full Metal Alchemist, but I forgot his name. So, this person, this salary man with his suit and all, comes into the store, sits down, and every time it was his turn, he would sing Tokusatsu openings. Like, Super Sentai, like, Kamen Rider. Like, he would, like, sing, uh, ro like, robot animes. Like, you know, like, um, openings. All the time. All the time. All the time. And then, this two, this two gentlemen in traditional clothes would also sit down in front of us. They were wearing, like, you know, like, like, um, like, very traditional outfits. Like, yukatas. They were wearing, like, you know, sandals. With like tabby socks and stuff like that. And they would also do, do the exact same thing. And I was just... No, yeah, yeah. They were singing Jetman. They were singing Jetman as well. And I was just like, holy shit. Like, this is so fucking cool. And they heard me sing for the first time. And they were like, oh, what? Because I did Screamo. I sang, um... What's up, people? For, uh, by, uh, by Maximum the Hormone for Death Note. And they call me the voice demon. <laughs> they call me the voice demon. And this other guy that was hearing like all of us saying, he ordered sushi for all of us because of me. <laughs> so we got free sushi and it was so fucking sick. It was like so fucking sick, dude. It was like legit so fucking sick. And even like the old guys, like the very bottom and like the salary man was like, oh shit. It's cool. And I got I, I got Nihongo Joe suit, of course, because, you know, I do know how to sing Japanese. <laughs> but it was very nice. It was very fucking nice. I remember that, dude. I remember that. That was, like, super sick. Did I ever upload a picture of that? Did I ever tell you guys this story? Did I? I think I probably mentioned it briefly, right? No? I think I probably mentioned it. You don't think so? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll upload a picture of the sushi because I still have it. I'll upload a picture of the sushi <laughs> because I was just like shocked. I was like, I was like crazy. I was like, whoa. <laughs> this is new. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. I know it's Valentine's Day for some of you guys already. Happy Valentine's Day. Where's my chocolate? <laughs> Remember, tomorrow we have Tempers Armas Edition to celebrate Valentine's. And we also have our Valentine's Pizza special. The Hack Cafe special on Thursday. It's gotta be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Kuroneko. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, good times. I wanna go back so fucking bad, dude. Ah! Soon. Hopefully one day. <laughs> The circle of life and all, huh? Being the central hub of Nakano wasn't the only reason this place saw a lot of families. There was also a huge park right next door. Where the lights of Nakano gathered into the form of couples and families creating a big yin and yang town. To any dark nerds who, vi who wished to avoid such light, visiting on a weekday will probably be your best bet. <laughs> Do we get jealous because of the people with families and couples, dude? Understandable, though. I also clench my fist whenever I see them. I'm like, how dare they be happy? 
Did you know that today's Hakka Sentimental Feelings of Love cover one year anniversary? Did you guys know? <laughs> Moon, thank you for the super chat. Dude, I released that song. Wait, not only that song, it's also a um, Meruhen. It's me and me and Flam's duet anniversary. Like, technically speaking, today? Wait, no. Do I have the... Do I have the timeline wrong? No, I was first. I was first with my two. I was first with my solo, and then Marchen. Yeah, Meruhen, uh, Kanojo. I, I forget the Japanese name. I think it was me, and then for Flayon. That's fucking sick, dude. Holy shit! It's a national holiday, <laughs> dude. We should do another duet. We should do another duet. But this this year I'm cheating on him with uh, Fuma Senpai. <laughs> hey, we released a we released a cover with Fuma Senpai. Go check it out. We sang uh, Night Dancer. It's really cool. You guys would definitely like it a lot. <laughs> many many cheating. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flyon. A man as beautiful as me must. <laughs> Must explore. <laughs> Being the central hub of Nakano. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at this bookstore. They got some really controversial stuff there. Ah, opening a shop for fellow freaks would be pretty cool too. Ame babbled ex unexcitedly, pointing and gesturing in a frenzy. Shugan completely off the deep and sucked in by the whirlpool of nerd. The whirlpool, whirlpool of nerd shit. That's me every time I start talking about like vocal and shit, dude. <laughs> You're just like, oh man, no! Do not compare me to this cute monster. <laughs> hmm, the highest floor just hits different. It really feels like the good old days are perfectly preserved here. Unlike the second floor, which you could easily reach after climbing one flight of stairs, and the third floor, which the elevator went... See, I'm telling you! That, okay, watch this. Floor one, stairs. Third floor, elevator. To the fourth... And then it went straight to the fourth floor. So no stairs. On floor three or four, just straight up elevator. It's interesting. One flight of stairs and a third floor which the elevator went straight to. The fourth floor was a special place that you could only reach if you wanted to. You, could, you couldn't just get there from some coincidence or mistake. It was special in one another way or another. It housed a chaotic concoction of vintage Showa era toys, manga, and magazines. There was even an arcade well known for still running a bunch of niche retro cabinets. Even from the first glance, you could immediately sense that the shops here or paradise for a select <laughs> for a select portion of nerds, dude. I love retro arcade stuff. I I didn't do that while going to Japan. I did not go to an arcade. I only went to like um. It was like a game place, but it was just like you know um what you call it um, um. It was, it was two places. Right next to it, it was like a pachinko parlor, <laughs> and the and the place right next to it. It was like a crane game. Yeah, it was like a crane game. It was really cool. It was really cool. I have a I have a bunch of like small goodies as well. And right outside the crane game, there was a shit ton of like gacha stuff. Really sick. Man, I love that shit. Look, they even got anime cells here. Oh, wait. Aren't like anime cells, like basically like the animation cells they use, like fragments of like the hand-drawn animation stuff they did? I think I've seen a couple being sold. I think I saw like a couple from like um, Dragon Ball. I think I saw. I think I saw a drag Dragon Ball. I think I saw. Um, what anime was it? What anime was it? Ranma one. I think I saw a Ranma one. Yeah, they're like um on plastic, right? They're like basically um plastified. They're really fucking sick. I think I saw a couple. By the way, one one year membership. Thank you, Overlord. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the year. Why are you purple? Yeah, ram it a round one and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else? I think I'm 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 blanking. Yu Yu Hakusho. I think I saw a couple Yu Yu Hakusho ones as well. Very very classic shows actually. They're super expensive. The 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 hardest the scene goes. 
the, or the, the more popular the scene is, the more expensive they get. But if it's like a frame of like, for example, fucking like Naruto, like walking in the city that has like no, um, you know, like no plot value, they're going to sell it for you cheap. And it's still something really fucking cool. But I bet you there's a fucking sell of the, of the swing. <laughs> that sells for like a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that goes fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh Me convincing Altair to kill the gill Wait I was just like you <laughs> I fucking loved it Oh I stayed there <laughs> Oh my god, look at the swing. <laughs> this is so cool. Hey, you ever think about how sales aren't sold as merch, so the ones on the market were sold by some animator who needed some pocket money? I mean, it's cool that the anime nerds will get a chance to own a piece of the series they love, but it sort of gives them mixed feelings, you know? Oh yeah, this is really sad though. <laughs> Man, everything has a dark side, I can't be fucking happy. We can't have shit in this place anymore. <laughs> no, the Hakito signal is this one, yeah. <laughs> you guys scatter. It's kind of like how if I saw someone selling something, I autograph for them. I'll be pretty annoyed, but on the other hand, they could be selling it because they're really strapped for cash and they wouldn't, they wouldn't be selling it if they could help it. Also, it could be their family member selling it for them because they passed away. That's also really sad. That's also really, really, really sad. If you think about it, that's like legit very, very sad. Ah, uh, God damn it. <laughs> Why does this bitch have to ruin everything, dude? I was just happy. I was just happy talking about like the freaking like anime cells and shit like that. But now she made me think. When I die, my Haka merge will be buried with me like the Faro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want to go to a meet and greet where I can give you like a cool signature with like those funky cool machines, dude. God damn it, man. I love her, but she's ruining everything for me. <laughs> I think I've seen a couple uh, meet and greets with like those cool machines where you just basically have like that. It's like a sharpening a little like robot arm that I control from like a freaking like that, like like the death death moon or something i don't know <laughs> it's sick if a collector passed the family could either sell their things to a second hand shop like mandarake or shut them away in a closet somewhere an outsider wouldn't be able to tell if it would be more than respectful to sell their things or keep them however what they would know is that either option would be better than begging them up and throwing them away absolutely dude i think you Either donate stuff, and of course, you know, maybe sell them. So it's basically preserved. <laughs> but if I were to die, I would want people. I would want people to have like you know my tiny little collections I have. If I die, I would like to have like my stuff like freaking um, auctioned. <laughs> Story my <by> ashes. <laughs> You mean this one? <laughs> Bro. Honestly, it kind of goes hard as an ashtray. It kind of goes hard as like an ash container. Keep your little dead grandma in here, you know? Sh Dude, I imagine like all the, all, all the old Hakitos about to die. I just imagine them be like, put me here in the in the ashtray. And they'll be like, okay. <laughs> That'll go so hard though. <laughs> it's only a matter of time until someone in your family confuses it for the fucking creamer. And you're gonna have like 
<laughs> my original my, my original like plan earn 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 ashtray is where you smoke earn is where you keep shit yeah keep your ashes on the on the bunsling haka uh insulated urn slash bottle <laughs> Cells <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> definitely were just sold for the pocket money though. Oh well, it's not my business. I'm just gonna grab a Dejiko cell and go home. <laughs> Damn, she's like, okay, don't care, didn't ask. <laughs> Once she left the shop with her purchase, she nodded and headed for the stairs. It seemed that she had her fill of nerdiness for today. Now that she spent the day surrounded by nerd shit, her streams will probably reflect that too. Or maybe they won't. One thing I was sure of, though, if she showed his side of her more, she would attract even more annoying fans. Sure. Maybe there was some merit to taming them into Kangel's fans, but was it really worth it when they had the emotional intelligence of a five-year-old? Holy fucking shit, dude. We're not like that. <laughs> I'm tired from walking around all day, so no stream tonight. I'm going to stare at my cell all night and then sleep. I'm never going to tell my nerds that I got one. Otherwise, it would all get on my ass about how to properly store and display it. Dude, she's so fucking mean. Leave them alone. What the fuck? Yeah, that's also a problem. This person, like, thinks of them as a streamer and not a human being. So they connect everything they do. Like, to, like, you know, streaming and shit like that. That's, like, so mean because, like, dude, if I do something... That's like my next personality for all my next five streams. I'm so happy. That's why that's why I thrive whenever I do shit, you know? Because like like whenever I have like a nice time doing something and I get to tell you guys about it, it makes me feel so happy. Because you guys like celebrate it, you know? We all celebrate it. I feel good. It feels nice. Like I could be talking about fucking rocks for like the next five months. And because you guys see that I'm happy talking about it, you guys will be like, oh yeah, he's cute. And you guys would even want to learn about fucking rocks. <laughs> we know it's been Japan for three months. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's the only it's the only taste of the first word I ever had in my whole life. <laughs> I had so much fun yesterday. Where will you take me next? Surprise me. I'm taking this bitch to the hospital. <laughs> Oh my god, she's pretty! Whoa! 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 Whoa, she looks pretty there. I fucking love her outfit. Holy, she's pretty. Holy, she's pretty. God damn, she is pretty. <laughs> That's a big ass eye. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's me you're talking about there right, right now. <laughs> Mike Wasowski looking ass, I know. Are you seriously taking me to the hospital for a date? You're lucky you have me because any other girl would dump your ass straight away. I mean, it's fine. I'm nearly out of meds anyway, so it's good timing. You planned this date because of that, didn't you? You're always so on top of things. Thanks, B Chan. Do they? We were at the psych ward. What? I'm off to the game here to pick up her various pills and prescriptions. She had SSRIs, stronger stuff for her really bad days, sleeping pills, medicine to stop her from suddenly recalling things that were too painful to remember, all sorts of things. If she ever ran out of those, she would have to play the dangerous game of facing reality all on her own. Holy shit, me too. Since Emma's pills were running low, <clears throat> I decided to bring her here before the things got out of hand. Doesn't it seem counterintuitive to have a system where people who struggle with doing things on time all the time had to pick up their meds on, 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 on time all the time? Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Fucking hate it. I have alarms on my phone for this shit. <laughs> hey you ever think about the people you see in waiting rooms i think the ones i see here are especially unique 
<laughs> this weren't tapped that many patients with tough cases, so the waiting room could be quite confronting too. Oh, this got sad though. This got dark really quickly. Most of them weren't that out of the ordinary though. Like the old folks playing their Game Boys, even though it was released way past their time. Those who wander back and forth in their corridors like NPCs and kids who clung to their mothers, unmoving and unspeaking. As different as they were, <clears throat> there was one thing that they all had in common. They were all living with unthinkable traumas that regular, mentally healthy folk couldn't even begin to imagine. Damn, this got too real, dude. I've been telling you my ideas keep getting stolen every day by famous mangakas. I'm the one who originally invented the dark fantasy genre. I've already told you this before. There was a man, middle-aged perhaps, in a room somewhere shouting, probably arguing with his doctor. It was to be expected in this ward. And all the staff seemed to seem used to it. Anyone who wanted to work here would not doubt that, would not no doubt have to be able to take those things kind of outbursts calmly without affirming or denying them. The man raged on, still inflamed by the plagiarism he was convinced was happening. Me. Have you noticed um how there's no music? Because it's like a very serious, like like you know, dark tone part of the game. It's happening all the time. On that website, Shosetsuka Ninaro, that everyone can post their light novels to. They're all reading my stories. They're there and ripping me off. Even the ones that get anime adaptations, except their MCs are all shit and bland. <laughs> yeah, he's in Wattpad. His shouting went for on for a good while. Emma stared at, the, stared at the door that it seemed to be coming from, her face peaceful and composed. Everyone here is fighting their own battles the best they can. It's tough when your worst enemies and best friends both come from the inside of your own head. I know what that feels like. There was a time where it, uh, where it felt like I had insects buzzing around in my head all day long. They would all fly around and screech and cause me all sorts of grief. I probably screamed like that man too, just to stop hearing them for even a second. I fought the battle alone too, just like he probably is. Damn. I watched intrigue as Amma's face grew solemn. It was a rare sight to behold. I lay my hand on top of hers and laser fingers together. That's so fucking cute. If someone cut the two of us out of context right now, we'd just be like any other couple, <clears throat> enjoying each other's company side by side. However, we weren't like any other couple. I mean, how many others out there would spend their date at a psych ward? It didn't matter to me, though, or Amma. We were both perfectly fine with spending our time here. For people who have thought of Tough it out alone, they must really hate me for having someone like you with me. Maybe they'll even curse me for being blessed with such an adorable face, too. Oof. Gene, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's really dark. I wouldn't blame if they hated me for building a name for myself and earning money through my streams by using my outcast energy to attract fans and sympathy. I must be something like a class traitor to them. If they were pointing behind my back and saying I was faking it all for clout, I wouldn't blame them at all. Damn, this is this is really hitting hard. <clears throat> you really get to know like Amichung a little bit more here. I certainly feel like on most days, but who would it, who would I be if I didn't turn my mental illness into a business? I'll just be a stupid middle school dropout. I have my good looks too, but they can only get me so far in this cruel world. I only got so big as Kanjo because of my hard work, and I won't let anyone talk down to me about all the time and effort I've invested. Damn. Whatever, it's just all fluff anyway. Having a partner like you who would keep taps on my mats and take me to get more when I'm nearly out automatically makes me more privileged than half of the people here on the earth. I wouldn't have the right to even look at the man beyond the door in the eye. I might chuckle softly, resigned. Her face grew dark and she felt silent, gripping my hand back. Oh, she's cute now! <laughs> oh my god! Are we back? 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 Yeah, YouTube really said no fun allowed. No, no sad moments allowed. Sudden whiplash, a hiccup, and cute Kangel. <laughs> yeah, the stream got too real. My internet couldn't handle it. Wait, what? 
The fuck? Are we back? Dude, that was like so like harsh. So such a harsh cut transition. Like having like the realest fucking moment and then suddenly flashbang. She's cute now. It's crazy. It do be like that though. <laughs> hey cuties, it's Kangel. You're totally normal engine and angel who has a super normal brain. What did you all get up to today? I went to the upstairs doctor for the first time in a while today. Aren't I so good? Well, it's really nothing special. We should normalize getting professional help when we need it anyway. I took my meds earlier, so if I seem a bit out of it, that's why. If I say something weird, no, I didn't. But if I did, just give me a gentle poke in the co in the comments. Uh, it's it's very sweet that she's aware, you know, and she's like very open with that. It really shows that it's normal. It's like the most normal thing ever, you know. <clears throat> There's like nothing wrong with that. It was really funny when you went, oh, she's cute now, <laughs> stream ended. <laughs> it truly do be like that. The place I go to is pretty well known. Actually, I looked up my symptoms and just picked a doctor that it seemed like they would get it. So whenever I go, I see a lot of people like myself there. The surprising thing is if you look up to the hospital reviews, they're actually super bad. They're all like the doctors never take me seriously. They're all quacks. Well, I guess all online reviews are kind of like that. But you know... The people writing them probably weren't in the best state of mind, and yet they continue to go to that hospital. When you think about it, wouldn't all those low reviews actually mean the place is good? Then, I know it's good for me because the staff there listens to me and makes me feel okay. My point is, the reviews are so bad because the patients feel like they can express themselves however they like, which is actually a good thing. The word can be such a tricky place, huh? Anyway, if any of you are going to read right now, I hope you can find a professional that you buy with. But before that, get yourself something warm to drink and bury yourself in your comfy bed and get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna send you all to bed now, so get ready. Dude, fucking real. <laughs> so real. You to all the haquitos. Giri choco. Kuruneko, thank you. Thank you for all the choco. Dude, she's right. Honestly, whoever's going through it, hopefully you can find a professional you vibe with and, you know, get a nice... Warm drink and just bury yourself in bed. Good. Good advice. She's very sweet. Good night now, my little nerds. Taskaru, bless! Bless, Akitos, bless! You never send us to bed? That's a fucking lie. I always tuck you guys to sleep. I always try to at least say goodnight on Twitter because sometimes you just fall asleep or I just don't sleep at all. And I do. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun yesterday. Where will you take me next? Surprise me. Oh no, now I feel bad for taking her to the hospital. Let's go to let's go to the arcade. Why the hell not? Oh my god, her CG's so fucking pretty here. Holy shit. Look at her fit. Dude. Her fit's so good. Taking your girlfriend to the local arcade is like the IRL equivalent of taking a girl on a dating sim, trawling for secondhand PC parts, and then tanking your affection. <laughs> that's, that's so fucking mean. Looks like something you would wear. Absolutely. Absolutely. She, she kind of looks like me, kind of, right? <laughs> but it's a bold choice. Nice one, P-Chan. We're already not normal, so why pretend to be? Chilling in an arcade together is peak. I'm ready to get my game mode on. I knew it was a bit of a gamble, but good thing her hideness seemed pleased. We gawked at the giant coin pushing games and the, their bright lights, mused about how old school games like those crooked out smashing ones were probably the gateway, and enjoyed everything the arcade had to offer. It was a wholesome establishment perfect for families, which meant that there were none of the usual nerds there. Just a quiet corner of town with nothing we are going on. I want to go there, dude. Kind of feels like we're teenagers who just started dating. For two youngsters who wanted to go on somewhere fun. But A, didn't have that much money. B, had half the city blocked off them as miners. Game arcades were the ideal date spot. Much fun could be had for a few hundred yen. Photo boots. Just hit different. Even though all of us had smartphones and a million photo apps now. Plus, the really big and fancy arcades sometimes have bowling alleys or pool tables in case. 
Anyone want to flex for the girl? Ah, uh, youth. Dude, I want to go bowling so bad. It's been a while. <clears throat> I like arcades. Arcades are fun. Not that I really know what that feels like since no one that's cool would ever date me. I'll always come here alone to practice finding games and gum blam. <laughs> and like so many guys will come up to me being like, oh, you want me to teach you? I could play co-op with you on gum blam if you want. Like, ew, okay, nobody asked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, milady, it seems like you are operating the video game wrong. Would you like me to teach you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm a guy. I turn. I turn around. Someone touches my shoulder. Uh, excuse me, baby girl. <laughs> You're playing the game wrong. I turn around and I'm like, yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> but even though I hate how patronizing they wear, not gonna lie, I still kind of like the attention. Not me, dude. Leave me the fuck alone. I just sat down in an old worn out cabinet and began fiddling with the joysticks and buttons. Perhaps recalling a combo that some guy taught her long ago. I couldn't really blame those nerds for approaching her the way they did, as annoying as it must have been. <laughs> a beautiful girl in an arcade was like a fresh spring of the a fresh spring in the desert, especially for these people seeking refuge from their daily lives. It was only human for them to approach and call out to such a beauty and wonder. No, leave them alone! Fucking creeps! Now that I think about it, those nerds were probably just really lonely. Jesus Christ! What a backwards ass mentality! I'm gonna continue to tap and flick away, cycling through the different combos. None of them had any effect in the games, of course. As no coins, I had been inserted. The demo screen played on, oblivious to any input. Wait, she was just playing in the freaking demo? I used to do that when I was poor. When I was a little poor baby kid that had no coins for the arcade games, I would just like sit down and pretend I was playing to the demo. And then I would like, like pretend I was doing all those fucking combos, and that's probably why I thought I was good at video games, where I actually wasn't playing. <laughs> I thought it's a bunch less me, but it's just Hawk up me. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Moon. <laughs> I mean, if you just wanted to verse someone, you could easily do that online. They must have been really starved for human contact if they bothered to come all the way to an arcade in real life. <laughs> You get a sense of kinship fighting with other outcasts, with also being rejected at school and work, you know? Just the both of you here in the darkness of the arcade, punching it out. I think this is how all fighting games should be played. Online. You... Online, you wouldn't know how... Wait. Online, you know... You wouldn't know who you were going against, just climbing the ranks mindlessly, but here you can just peek around the corner and see your rival. Oh, shit. Whatever. Not that I care. I may stood up suddenly and walked deeper into the bowels of the shop. Oh my god, there's Kangel merch in the claw machines. Go! Go, me! <laughs> me when I saw Holo Stars gotchas. She wasn't alone anymore. There was no more waiting for awkward nerds to hit on her as she sat alone at the cabinet. She had a partner and all the fans and followers in the world feeling the emptiness in her heart. I don't think we're really the kind of people to blow all our money in claw machines or burst each other on racing games like the other screeching couples, though. I wish they had a merry-go-around here. Let's go home. But I had fun. Oh my god! Holy shit! Speaking of fucking merry-go-rounds, on Disney C, there is a merry-go-round, right? And <laughs> we went there because of 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 the mane that really loves her daughter, just so they can you know like go into the merry round, right? And baby bird mane was like, "Come on, Haka, you can go." Go, go, go in the merry-go-round! And I was like, no! I'm scared! Dude, worst five minutes of my fucking life! Holy shit! Bro, I was fucking terrified! Holy crap, going up and down! While the fucking little kid was like, yeah! And I was just like... 
Like holding to the fucking horse? Dude, I was scared! I was scared I was gonna break that shit! The fucking horse was going up and down, up and down, and I was just like... <laughs> like staring to the side, looking at my monitor, like... <laughs> like, dude, I was like losing my shit! I was counting the fucking minutes this thing fucking ended! It was so bad! It was so bad! It was bad! <laughs> Listen, I am not scared of the game itself. I'm scared of mechanical failure. That's what I'm terrified of. Mechanical failure. <laughs> I was scared of the thing breaking and fucking stabbing me and be like, Ugh! I'm suddenly dead on the merry-go-round. How fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Next time I'll hold your hand. <laughs> You're gonna hold my sweaty, drippy hand of fear. <laughs> Thank you, manga. <laughs> Mechanical failure on a merry-go-round? Dude! Yes! Do you know how many gears that shit has? No, dude. I was scared. I was fucking losing my shit. I was, like, literally counting. This shit's gonna break down. I'm gonna have to pay for this. It's fucking Disney. It's gotta be really expensive. Well, I was like going up and down, up and down. I'm, I'm like simulating what I'm doing on my fucking chair. And I was just like, I'm, it's, it's, it's gonna break. I'm gonna have to fucking pay for it. It's gotta be bad. Oh no. Oh God. Well, I was riding a fucking horse. Losing my mind. Losing my fucking mind. And then it stopped. I went down and I look at my manager and I was like, never again. Don't you ever do that ever again to me. <laughs> Dude, most of the people there were fucking children. Of course I thought I was gonna break it. I am only this size taller than them. But I'm bigger than them. <laughs> I was so scared. I was so fucking terrified. <laughs> They're built for adults to ride too? Fuck no, I don't believe that. I don't believe that, dude. I Hell no, I don't believe that. Hell no. Terrified. Terrified of the Disney Sea fucking carousel merry-go-round. You ever go there in Japan? Think about me. I was terrified there. I probably pissed myself on the little horse. Right at the corner, southeast section of the fucking carousel. A pest print by me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I have fun. I think this will become one of those days that will come back to me in a while when I see something random. <laughs> uh, brown horse, golden seat. <laughs> we left the bright lights and loud noises of the arcade behind us. If we ever wanted a game, we could just hop in our phones and find someone to play with. Dude, terrifying. Fucking terrifying. I'm doxing the horse, yeah. You can scrape off my fucking DNA from it, probably. <laughs> Hello, cuties, it's Kangel, the arcade angel. How did you all get out to today? I went to an arcade. It wasn't huge or famous or anything, but I passed by it while I was on my walk and just decided to go in by myself. And guess what, guys? I saw a claw machine with my merch in it. It was very exciting. No, Kanjo! They're gonna triangulate your fucking location! Amateur! Fucking amateur! What are you doing? I saw some schoolgirls start talking about how cute they were and how much they wanted some. I was so happy. I almost stepped in to catch some for them myself. That's cute though. That's actually really cute. I was seeing a couple kids struggling. Catching um some some little thingies and claw machines. And I caught it after they did. And I wanted to like tap their shoulder and give it to them. But I was scared I was gonna be like a freak or a creep. So I just kept it to myself. <laughs> I was just like, am I really gonna do this? No, I'm just gonna keep it to myself, put it in my pocket. <laughs> I almost did that. But I chickened out. <laughs> but man, 
Arcade goers demographics have changed so much. It was such a nice arcade, but there wasn't a single nerd in sight. I bet it's because you guys are all cooped up home gaming instead of going outside to play games. Who else will fill in the dark, dingy corners of the arcade if not for you all? Who else is going to stand around with their arms folded like bison and backseat game the whole time? <laughs> they go out for ramen together with the other randos whose real names you don't even know. You guys gotta start pretending like you are in Umehara's manga and go out and do this. I'm begging you. Like, that sounds like so much fun. It actually does sound really epic, though. I almost wish I could do this, too. <laughs> I guess nowadays, pro gamers are celebrated so much that they lost their gloomy, nerdy reputation. But you know, it's kind of sad that they have to act all professional and stuff now that's big money's in the line. I mean, people usually become gamers because they'll rather not deal with the real world, and they go to the arcade to meet their little group of nerds who feel the same way, right? It wasn't much, but it was their slice of joy, and now they have to deal with the real world because they play GAMES! Plus, I bet there's a whole bunch of people who would love nothing more than to play games with others. But are forced to stay in the dark because they can't or don't want to act all high for the big companies and stuff. Anyways, that's just my thoughts on the of the day from my visit to the arcade. If I'm talking shit, then just ignore me. If you haven't gone outside in a while, then do it. Go play a game with someone. You can see face to face, but shower first, okay? <laughs> Promise me you will. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bless! Dude, this is like the streamer that like... I remember playing part of social. And I thought her streams were short. This streams are even shorter. <laughs> These ones are even shorter, dude. She just literally goes like, Hello, everybody! I went to the arcade today. It was fun. Please shower. Okay, bye! Bless. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Imagine if I did streams like that. Hell no. You guys have to like uh, take me off with the with like the cane, like the people in the freaking theaters just like pull my neck and be like, ah. <laughs> that dude. <laughs> the Fluttershy I promise me you won't get mad. And it's a fucking bottle of shampoo and deodorant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you brought me back. <laughs> I saw one with Rainbow that we fucking Rainbow Dash. Why do I even fucking know their names? Which one was it? Fluttershy, Rainbow Dash, Ratty, Applejack. Uh, Twilight Sparkle. That's like the, that's like the main ones, right? Oh no! Welcome, welcome back. Thank you so much for your membership. Why do I know their names? Two more? I'm missing two more? Which ones? Twilight Sparkle, Apple Dash, Pinkie Pie, of course! The Pink Psycho! Pinkie Pie! And <laughs> Deadpool's best friend, yeah, exactly. Okay, Applejack, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle, Rarity. It's five, right? It's five. It's five. Isn't it? My, oh, she's, I'm not a brony. <laughs> Skylar, think of it for four months. And Fluttershy, of course. The shy one, because she's Fluttershy. Applejack, right? There's six of them? Oh, bro, I don't fucking know. <laughs> bro, you take me next. Surprise me. We're taking this bitch to fucking Equestra. Hold up. Flourish High is best pony. She's really cute. She's baby. We're gonna go urban exploration. No, we're gonna go to... We want a beach episode. We're gonna go... We're gonna go... A be oh, what the fuck? What? No swimsuit? She's the kind of person that goes to the fucking beach just to wet their feet. Bro, look at those piggies, though. Holy shit. I'm the kind of person. When I was a little kid, I used to go there to swim. But now I just go there to dip my feet and just fucking leave. I hate getting sand all over the place. I really hate getting sand all over the place. You know what I mean? Because then you have to take a shower. And then you have to take like a, okay, first of all, you have to take like a, you take a shower before the beach. 
You take a you you, you fucking swim in the in the beach. And then you take another fucking shower, and that's like a deep scrub shower to get like fucking like sand out of everywhere. Yeah, sand will always find a way. It doesn't matter how covered you are. I don't like bodies of water. I used to be super into swimming in lakes and rivers, but not anymore. I would your shower before you go into the ocean to be clean. Is that not a thing? Do you not shower before going to the pool or a river or a lake? Do you not? Skyline, thank you. Thank you for the 12 months. N not always. I always do it. I always take a shower before going in any body of water. I mean, if I'm planning on swimming, I'm not going to shower right before leaving. If I'm planning on sh swimming, I'm not going to shower right before leaving. So you just go there, you swim, and you go back home with all the gunk. You don't you don't shower after you finish swimming. You shower right before leaving, they said. All power to you. <laughs> the beach, when it's cold? Genius idea. Beachen, no. I mean that for real, like, unironically, it's so quiet because there's no one else around. And it's not like I would went into the water at me anyway, so it doesn't matter. If it's cold, good choice. I'm a smile, and she seemed happy enough with my choice. We stared out in the great big ocean, the mother of all life as humans. I think we're all made to feel something inexplicable when we come face to face with large bodies of water. Yeah, fucking fear. Including Ahmed, the contrarian streamer who spends most of her time shutting her room. Any other person would have wished for a bright sunny day, but not Ahmed or me. The sky was gray and gloomy, the perfect kind of weather to get the moody teenager inside going, and totally perfect for us. You know what me and my family used to do? This is, like, such a weird fucking tradition in, like, Sinokuni. I am not sure if it's, like, um... I am, like, not really sure if it's normal. But for Christmas, since people would, like, you know, stay out up to, like, 5 in the morning, 3 in the morning, like, 6 in the morning. Some people would literally go to the beach at, like, 3 a.m. And just wait until it, like, like the sun rises. Like, they would see, like, the sun rise up at, at at the beach. Which, I don't know if that's fucking dangerous because of fucking sharks or anything. But my family used to do that a lot. We would legit just go to the fucking, like, beach. And then, like... No, we didn't, we didn't live close to a fucking beach as well. We had to fucking drive. <laughs> do you think sharks rise to the sun? No! I mean nighttime! Isn't nighttime in the ocean bad or, 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 I don't know, dangerous or some shit like that? I don't fucking know. And that's very romantic, yeah. I mean, I was, I was just a little baby. So I was just be like, where are we going to the pizza tree? <laughs> and then I would just see the sun and just be like, wow. And that's, that's, that's why I liked it. <laughs> that's why I liked it. I would just like see it like Wah! and then just leave. <laughs> but wait, don't don't sharks? I don't get it. How do sharks fucking spawn? How do sharks fucking spawn? I did that once, but there was the killing friends above. Yeah, usually it goes like that, Carlos. And then the designated driver just takes fucking drunk people to the beach to get drunker. And the designated driver is also the babysitter. So it's, it was basically my uncle taking care of me and all the cousins. Or my mom, usually. My mom will be like the like the sucker mom and just get all the drunk people in the car and be like, let's go to the beach! <laughs> no! I mean, fuck! You guys don't understand! You guys don't understand! Isn't it dangerous to swim at night? That's the question. <laughs> yes, it's dark. 
For you, yes. Tides might be stronger. Yeah, because it's dark. Dark high tide. Yeah, yeah, that's what it meant. But isn't high tide like shark time? <sighs> Forget about it. Anyways. <laughs> Sky limit. Thank you for the gift. <laughs> Bro, I don't fucking know about sharks. What am I supposed to know? <laughs> to me, sharks. To me, sharks are just waiting for humans. But that's that's the media's that's the media's fault. They demonize sharks, and sharks are friends. Sharks only attack. If, if, if they think you're a seal. I am being part of the problem. I am being part of the problem here. I'm being part of the problem. That was very ignorant about... That was a very ignorant thing to say about sharks from me. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I accept it. I have to be better. I am human. Apologies after the stream. <laughs> Dude. I don't know how fucking sharks work. Bro's gonna listen when he learns about Shark. What is Shark Week? What the fuck is Shark Week? What is a Shark Week? What is Shark Week? It's the week all the sharks walk on land and eat. Shut the fuck up. I'm sensitive and gullible and not very smart. I'm gonna believe that. Oh. We start out in the great big ocean, the mother of all life. As humans, I think we're all made to feel something inexplicable. When we come to face to face with large bodies of water, including Ami the Contrarian, streamer who spends most of her time shutting her room, any other person would have wished for a bright sunny day, but not Ami or me. The sky was gray and gloomy, the perfect kind of weather to get the moody teenager inside going, and totally perfect for us. I'm gonna kill you, don't call me shark bait. I don't even know what that means now, I'm scared. This is so embarrassing. Don't clip this. <laughs> An archive stream. <laughs> I should have just believed comma. I should have just believed that. <laughs> Sensitive. <laughs> All right. Ice cream, chocolate. What else you need? <laughs> I was gonna say the thing Gerard said. <laughs> you ever look at the ocean and start thinking about offing yourself? <laughs> Not like because you want to die, but more like if you don't strafe it and keep going merciless, mother nature will eventually take you to it. All right, this is actually very true though. Sometimes when you're in the ocean, you just wanna go in, you know, and, and die. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I wanna be like Godzilla, just walk down and just like start sinking and just like doom, 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 just go down. <laughs> I am not okay, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Sharks only attack when they smell blood, so no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm so fucking embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just gonna Godzilla walk the whole fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> 
thank you thank you for thank you for illustrating me though thank you for thank you for letting me know i appreciate it <laughs> oh you motherfuckers <laughs> The scariest thing about nature would probably be the fact that it had no feelings. No matter how much you scream or beg, the oceans and wilderness will <laughs> never relent. The best thing to do when you were stranded or drowning would be to stay calm. Maybe that was why a lot of people choose to end their lives with nature. Unlike humans, the earth would never react if it would face with a dying person. I really thought it was a week where fucking sharks were extra violent, man. What the fuck? I really thought it was a week where sharks were extra violent. I even got scared. I even got fucking scared to go to the beach, dude. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Shark Week is a week where they show all kinds of shark shows on the Discovery Channel. It's so cool. I don't believe anything you guys say to me now. You really learn something new every day. I gotta tell my mom what I learned today. I gotta be like, you know what the Hakitos taught me? And she's gonna call me dumbass. In case telling the truth, that sounds fake. Oh, they're actually telling the truth? My bad, AK. You're a real one. Thank you, homie. <laughs> That's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah! ah! Even if you have no real desire to die, you just sometimes end up in a situation or place where you think about how easy it will be to die if you just made a few specific moves. Kind of like how that otter and Natsuhiko... Kyogoku, I think. Talks about being overcome by something like an evil spirit. Who knows how many of her inexplicable actions like murder and suicide could be attributed to nefarious entities entering our minds. Yeah, hakitos. <laughs> and it wouldn't be restricted to just big serious things like those either. Maybe they could tr maybe they controlled even the little things in our lives. The trivial actions we couldn't otherwise explain. Hey. You know how Osamu Dasai committed suicide with his girl? Isn't that the guy from Bungo Stray Dogs? Isn't that the guy from Bundo Bungo Stray Dogs? Is isn't that the guy from Bungo Stray Dogs? Oh, he's the guy. Oh, oh, that's who he's based on. Ah, nah. Oh. Okay. Okay, Osamu Dasai committed suicide with his girlfriend by drowning in a river. I wonder if they really did that with intention to die. I got curious about him one day and did some researching. I found out that he made a lot of suicide attempts throughout his life. Oh. That's why the character is like that. Like the anime for real, for real. A lot of them were with the women he was seeing at a time, and no one even ended in the woman's death. I'm not even gonna comment on how messed up that is, cause he's long dead anyway. Now I get it. The real that's like, oh, all the characters are based off real. What? Dude, it's time to rewatch Bungo Stray Dogs. <laughs> now with this knowledge. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Going to drown with your lovers just seems like such a spur of the moment passion thing or last resort attempt to reconcile with whatever weakness do you perceive to have in your mind. I saw an interview with someone that I knew where they said he would show them a rope and said he was serious about killing himself. And they felt trouble because they felt that no matter how they tried to help the side, he wouldn't accept it. I feel so embarrassed. This, 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 I, I, I'm gonna like delete this VOD. I'm gonna like 
email like Susan. So she emails a new guy to delete this so it becomes lost media. Yeah, she's really pretty. It's kind of like when people go on social media and say they are going to kill themselves in a desperate bit of her care. But these kind of things can get really dangerous and, sno and snowball the more you do it, though. <laughs> it's okay to be ignorant, exactly. Anyways, that's what I think about every time I come to the beach. The ocean breeze picked up and ruffled Ama's skirt. Something in my chest ached. A prick resembling a wound made by a pointed instrument. As my mind took a snapshot of the girl and the waves, I became gravely aware of the fact that I had a heart capable of doing so. Hey, Pichan. What if I asked you to walk into the ocean with me right now? Which one would be true love, accepting without any protest, or trying to convince me to stay and live? Holy fuck! I will pick up that bitch like a sack of potatoes and be like, nope! We're going home! Even though the thought of walking like Godzilla is really strong in my mind. Even though the thought of walking like Godzilla is really strong in my mind. But I'll probably just pick her up and be like, yeah, yeah let's go back home, sweetie. <laughs> uh, don't think too hard over, over it. I wasn't being serious. I have an important life mission that no evil spirit could take away from me right now. I know, right? True love is giving up my Godzilla like like RP for her, dude. True love is just me closing my eyes and ignoring that. As I'm walking in the fucking water, dude. It's a tough, it's a tough life out there. <laughs> Okay, let's go home now. It's dark and my poor little nerd needs me. Oh, she's talking about her viewers. I'm gonna turn and let her innermost thoughts behind with the moonlit water and lapping waves. <laughs> Wait, no. There's, there's another sound. It's like, it's like, it's like higher. I used to do it so well when I was younger, but then my balls dropped. Unfortunate. Hey, cuties, it's Kangel. Or should I say Jangel? Because I'm a jellyfish today. I went to the beach earlier today and saw the ocean, so I'm not afraid anymore. Not me. I didn't go in because it was too cold. But it's not like I would have gone in it if it were hot anyway. I'll leave that kind of stuff to you humans. Or maybe I could leave cyberspace so we can go see the ocean together. <laughs> if you guys did go to the beach, though, I bet you'll still all be glued to your phones unless you're swimming. But you guys won't. We'll be all taking photos and editing to look like hashtag no filter for your insters. You addicts! Me. Maybe a bathhouse or a sauna will be better than since you won't be able to bring your phones. You'll just be forced to forget the chaos on the internet and just focus on relaxing in the baths and hot steam. Wait! Is that why saunas are getting so popular about these days? Because people just want to forget about the internet for a small while? Anyway, it's time for all you nerds to put your phones away and go to bed. Forget about all the idiots online and get some damn rest. Promise me you'll do that. Good night, you guys. Bless. Dude, what the fuck? She's right, though. I mean, I really want to go to an onsen or like a bathhouse, like a chill bathhouse. And just like sit down and like simmer. Where you take me next? We have like two left, don't we? Surprise me. Let's go. Let's give her more trauma. Let's go to her childhood house. Oh, oh no! Katang, katang! The train clanked on as it carried the two lone passengers forward towards Emma's childhood home.
listen, when life gives you breaks, you have to take them. <laughs> Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? <laughs> I was scared of being happy. Yeah. I pissed well. Yeah, it was great. I washed my hands and everything. Full, full five star treatment. <laughs> I mean, look at me. I may be cute and pretty, and sometimes my brain cells kind of work, but I'm not exactly someone who deserves to be happy. Every time I thought about it, I felt like I was being crushed by a weight in my chest. Me. It comes back every time Kanjo gets more followers and pure fans who genuinely like her. I keep thinking that karma will get me for it one day. And whenever I go to bed, I can't help but I think I'm going to wake up to a flame wearing. Everything will come crashing down. Holy shit. I miss sometimes walk in the middle of the night screaming, perhaps escaping from the punishment worse than death that her mind had conjured up. The better her life was during her waking hours, the worse her nightmares will become. Poor Ame, dude. Uh, I can't do this. I'm scared. I'm so scared. She became a macaroon. Katanka tonk. The train clanged on as it continued to carry the two lone passengers forward. Ame trembled inside the swaying carriage, but the huge machine did nothing to comfort her. Trains had no feelings, only electric circuits that took commands and inputs from its human driver. She could be scared for her life, and the trains would still be completely oblivious to it. <laughs> Yo! Thank you for the Super Chat Angel. Happy Valentine's, dude. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's full of choco. Yummy choco. No way I could ever be happy. What kind of fucked up world would let a low life like me find joy? Man, poor thing, dude. She's like, poor Kangel. Hit on. Thank you for the year. Thank you for the 12 months. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Let me get a mucho. I'm just an useless sack of flesh that nobody could ever truly love. Oof. Le oof. Felt. I may hunch over, cradle her head in her arms, her body twitching as she tried to hold back her emotions. The noise and the pain attacking her was like a swarm of flies. Looking out the person besides her, the one that loved her, it was so unbearable that Ame was starting to forget where she was. Help me! Oh, God. Oh, God. So this is the mental breakdown one. I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, 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 stupid. Flayon. Flayon core. I want to throw up. Poor thing, dude. Ah, good childhood trauma. I feel like I'm lying to everyone. I trick all of them into thinking I'm an angel. I really think I want my sweet talking and turn their genuine love into money for myself. I show them some skin knowing they'll throw themselves at me and I say all the things I know they want to hear all so they can boost my ego and my bank account. How could a girl like this will, will ever be allowed to be happy? My past self who roll up in bed and scroll the internet endlessly would never forgive someone like that. If she could travel to the future, she would come and hit me. It's strange. I'm the only one that I could ever and do love. But I feel nothing but rage and contempt for myself. I'm a scream, her voice piercing the air. Oh, poor thing, dude, and she's on the train. This grotesque twisted form was the true nature of the angel who charmed hundreds upon thousands of fans all over the world. Her expectations and emotions ran wild. Her mind fell apart at the worst of times, and when she troubled anyone else, her guilt would crush her, and she would scream and cry out in an attempt to block everything out. She was like a young and immature beast that was not quite human. That was how she saw herself, or rather how she thought she ought to see herself in truth. A true emotion that lay to the heart of it all was that she loved herself. She was so drunk on her own love that it made exposing this unsightly part of herself bearable. Poor thing, dude. 
This is why I went super nice on my run with her because I know how fucking hard it can be, you know? And I feel like so bad because like, you know, she's really going through it. Her mind was always intoxicated by one thing or another right now. It was the unfortunate parts inside that rejected all happiness for herself. She made herself feel better by acting the role of a tragic and beautiful young woman who had gone off the rails and tormented herself with the irony of it all. Aw, dude. People online were right about me, low-life scum who beggar for scraps by pandering and sucking up and lying to others. I'm sorry for ever talking shit about anyone. I'm sorry for looking down at you people. But I'm not the only bad guy here just because I seem to have a good life for me with a partner and fans who love me doesn't mean that they have to attack me. For me, dude. The internet has plenty of other people who hide there because their lives are empty and hollow. So why me? Isn't it worse to do nothing with your life? Is it such a crime for me to get lucky? I took this gamble knowing that if I made the wrong step, I'll be ridiculed for the rest of my life and be forced to live as a plaything. Why can't people see that? I deserve at least a pat on the back for that. Uh, I mistook her head and swung her shoulders violently. Her entire sense of self was jacked into the internet to the entire world watching and picking her apart 24-7. Day in and day out, it was you. You should have done this, you should have done that. You saw you're disgusting. We're going to plaster your name everywhere and then slash it to shreds. She was fighting with the fans and haters every day in her head. She wanted nothing more than for it to stop and the only person who could do that was her partner Peachen. However, not even a romantic presence could get through her heart. The ancients that played her hung around her like a thick fog, but that would happen if the only person in the world she could trust her swelling ego was would toss her aside. What if she were the one to tire first instead? Or what if it happened to both of them at the same time? As much as we wanted to believe otherwise, love was not infallible. For Ame, dude. They were incompatible in many ways. Ame had managed to become Kanjo, an internet sensation with the word wrapped around her little finger, but Pichan was just an average person off the street. If Ami left first, then she would take everything with her. However, on the other hand, Pichan could become the single weapon that could kill Kanjil Mythos and expose her for everything she was. The doubts would start to rise. Was this person the, fi the right one to share everything with? Am I doing the right thing by trusting someone else and revealing my past roots and my childhood home to them? But love is a fragile thing. The moment you start to question it is when it all begins to fall apart. Trust is the single component keeping lust, thoughts of using your partner and all those other vague things in check. One in love and you can't buy it back once you start losing it either. Now that we, now that the irreversible had happened, it wasn't hard to imagine where these two were headed. Ah, uh, dude, this is, this is so heavy. It's getting a little bit too real and too heavy. Things were still flying for us as long as the train was still running, but it was closing on its final stop. Where the two would have no choice but to alight. They have to face each other whether they lied or not and confront their own hearts too. The hearts that doubted and took advantage of the one they were supposed to love and trust. The guilt, the self-awareness, it was all getting bigger and bigger. The train carrying Ame was starting to slow in 10-20 seconds. It would reach its goal. Once it stopped, Ame would find herself at the gates of hell. She couldn't bear to look reality in the eye without the embryation of her own ego, and that the brakes were the best hangover curse she could ever detest. Her mind sped up, brewing an apocalypse within its void. A few thoughts began to bubble. What would happen if she abandoned Pichan? Didn't they still love each other? Even if she left, wouldn't they try to piece things back together? There would be the salvation, sweet convenient salvation and absolute destruction, all two sides of the same coin of delusion. Her mind was a mess. An announcement blared to the train, in a few seconds the train was going to stop at its final destination, the hell of self-awareness. Goodbye and hello to the, to the beginning of the inevitable end of a dream. Ooh, kill me please. The wheels grinded to a halt. Ah, that's the, that's the end of it, dude. Damn. Huh. English. Continue. Didn't even save. Or I didn't save. 
Holy shit. Yeah, that's rough, dude. That's really rough. CG mode? We got all of them. We got like this one. We got this one. This one. This one. We're missing two. Did we go too fast? We probably didn't go the right order. We're missing the beach one. So we're probably gonna like see if we can get like all of them. Cause I don't think it's like, you know, I don't think they have a time, but it kind of should have allowed to like choose all of them. There's a reason why that was the last one though. No, we missed the urban exploration one. And maybe like the true ending. Wait, which one did I pick? Oh, this one. Okay. It might that might be the order. When you said you were taking me to do some urban exploration, I thought you were gonna just take me to a generic old part of town swarmed by insert insta girlies. And I was so ready to beat your ass, but that's the childhood one. The one we just saw was a childhood one. This abandoned school is pretty sweet. Nice one, Pichan. I thought I was gonna die from having to climb up this mountain after getting trained sick for that super long ride, but it was so worth it. I actually do want to go urban exploration. I think that's really cool, like going to like abandoned places and stuff like that. Maybe I can go with Shinri, he would really like that. We step inside the abandoned school and breathe it in its musty air, kicking up dust as we went. Entering this wooden building tucked away in the mountains was like traveling back in time. The village. It had been part of was long deserted and the whole place felt like a ghost town. It was a small slice of a world unknown. The shell of dreams that once were lives that were being lived once upon a time. Chairs and tables were already rotting, perhaps still waiting for students to come back and learn with them again. Little did they know, however, that their fate was to be able to forgotten and eventually destroyed. <laughs> yeah, tetanus doesn't sound fun though. Yeah. If, if I ever go urban exploration, I'll have to wear a full body armor. Because I'm very susceptible to little cuts and shit. I'm ashamed to be enjoying this desolate atmosphere. I hate it's cool, so it feels good to see one in such a sorry state. Oh shit. Well, at least she likes it. Even if her reasons were a little unconventional. Hmm. Something something nostalgia. Yeah, hazmat suit, exactly. Like rust. I miss Rust, dude. I want to play Rust again. This place must have molded so many co kids into cogs for the great machine of witch cookery. <laughs> it's only fair that it would go down like this then. Haha. <laughs> Oof. Harsh. However, I could argue that being anti establishment was a core part of her, of what made a streamer a streamer. <laughs> Someone like her who sought refugee on the internet away from the educational system. And society that rejected her stood for everything these institutes tried to squash through shoving their students into small boxes that taught them how to socialize and conform no varsen i don't want to get cocked again <laughs> thank you for the super chat dude aha you know a video about a truant middle school dropout exploring an abandoned school would actually be the perfect video i'll put on my best horror stream streaming and the views will roll in like an avalanche but nah, a bit cringe. TBH plus, this is supposed to be a date for just the two of us. It'll be a little secret. <laughs> and it's not like I brought any Kanjo outfit anyway. I just started taking full advantage of the fact that the building was abandoned by running around and kicking everything that she could get her hands, or rather feet. And at one point, she kicked the wall so hard her foot seems to get stuck in resulting in a hole. But all in all, she seemed to have a great time absolutely wrecking the symbol of her childhood pain i wish i'd done this to the school i went to i should turn it to pieces and rasp the whole thing to the ground oh look she's so cute i wish i made everyone who bullied me get down on their knees and apologize no that's not enough i should have made them jump out of the window not too high up so they die but just in up so they break their bones that's so fucked up i was in hell i hated them so much I wanted so badly to climb on a spider's thread if it only looked down on them. I swore to myself that it would become someone they'll be mad jealous of. I think I did in a way. 
Look at where they got gluing themselves to, to their desk and look at where I am now. More rich and famous than any of them could ever be. Yeah, I can't fix her. I, I really can't fix her, dude. I gotta make her worse. Plus, I have a wonderful and loving partner, too. Aw. It's me, Peachan! But it's not like they'll know it's me when they look at the cane So much for throwing them into the pits of despair and jealousy. They just go about their little lives and... You probably don't even remember that they went, even went to school with me. I must try to kick harder. I just want to hear them say, my deepest apologies. I never knew you had such an enormous talent to become the emotional support for millions of people all around the world. True. She picked up on the chair and hurled a little to the blackboard, hanging precariously at the front of the room. It made contact with a heavy thud and a large crack appeared on the dark green surface. Ha ha. I'll stop there for today. Consider yourself lucky. She slowly paced as she wiped the sweat from her brow, happily murmuring because I'm so kind and generous, I'm practically a body sattva to herself. Once the adrenaline had worn off, she grew bored of the abandoned school and wanted to go home. By the time we headed out, it was already dusk, a time where students would usually be heading back to the comfort of their home after a day of boring classes. Where's the CG? No CG? She's back at Kanjo. Hey cuties, it's Kanjo, the middle school dropout angel. You must all be wondering what I did today. Well, keep wondering because I'm not going to tell you. Us angels have a lot of secrets we need to keep from you humans. And if you're getting ready to accuse me of having a boyfriend, stop right there. I have no need for one because I'm devoted to being your angel. Aha! So don't worry and just keep standing me. If you really want to know, fuck, I, I clicked by accident. It would actually do that. That's a whole 10,000 yen, but mmm. I do love those zeros. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Man, I love being with you guys on stream here. I have so much fun and I really mean that. I'm not just saying that because you guys give me money, okay? It's just one of those nights, you know? You guys have it so tough out there. That's why you're all here watching some girl on the internet, right? I really feel for you. I can't ever hope to truly understand what you're all going through. It might not be my place to say, but let's all promise to do our best and get through our days, okay? Odyssey, welcome, dude. Thank you so much for membership. That's all I wanted to say anyway. I'm going to go to bed. I hope you guys can get through another day of being witch cucks and study betters with a smile. <laughs> Bless! <laughs> Wage cucks and study betters. What a fucking terms, dude. Okay. Man, fuck. We did all of them, but we didn't get a CG for that one. Do you think the CGs are for, like, the other endings? I think that's... I think that's probably it. I think the CGs are probably for, like, the other endings. I wonder if, like... Hold up. If I click Childhood Home again, is she gonna be nervous? If she was just happy, because she, you know... Yeah, it's the same thing. Hold up. Yeah, she's still having, like, this same one. Yeah, I think I have to, like... I don't know if it's if the order affects anything. But I think this is the bad ending, sadly. Although, the text is blue now. Wait, did Flayon get this ending? It's based on the order. How could that order be? I really went like one by one. Because we have the CG modes. We have all of this, but this too. You just have to do all the dates before the childhood home? Huh. He didn't get this ending? Guys, suck ass then. I always get the bad endings. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I suck ass. <laughs> Giving her a little a little silly mental breakdown. Jesus. Okay, I think I, I, I had enough of the visual novel. <laughs> Let me see which of, which of the other games I can load. Oh, uh, that was so sad, though. Poor, poor Kangel. Poor, Ka poor Kangel. It's, it's rough, dude. I made her worse. No, yeah. See? I promise you guys that, and I surely did. 
Words Wolves worst boyfriend bouncing haka. Nah, pretty cute, dude. <laughs> okay, we have the breakup Kangel. A block breaking game that reveals stuff. But don't you dare play it because it's super embarrassing. Have fun. I don't like how this one sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just have to like um open the game, close the game again. The way you capture this game is very weird. Angel breakout game. You guys can probably see it now. Yeah, the chat's also broken. Oh god. Wait, QWAS? Oh, yes, please. Why are these games so damn loud? Oh, this one isn't translated? Oh fuck, I can't read that. I guess it says, move with your arrows. Yeah, press C to... It says, uh, destroy the blocks, because I'm cool like that. Oh, wait, what? Did Flam play this? Is this what I think it is? Is she gonna be in her underwear? Oh my fucking god. Oh god, she is. Jesus. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this game? Hold on, we have to finish it. We're sticking to it. It's funny, cause like, this genre of games is like so fucking classic. Like the whole like, pin up behind like another type of game stuff, you know? It's like such a, such a genre. It's, it, it is a genre of like, old classic games. God damn it. <laughs> Barson, shut the fuck up. Also, Aptio, happy birthday to your friend Ten T Tenetha. Tabitha? I hope you have a lovely birthday. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Wait, hold up. Tabitha, happy birthday, Tabitha. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much, Aptio, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this is legit like Windows 95 core. It reminds me of the pinball game as well. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Angles, 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 angles. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Angles, angles. Come on, come on. Okay. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Fuck. Yeah, what in the peggle, right? Sexy peggle. God damn it, it really goes sideways, huh? Dude, my aim's like my aim's not the problem. It literally goes but it goes sideways. Okay. Peggle, but it's only a picture of Bonsling Hawk in his underwear. Oh shit! Okay. Okay, okay, okay! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Game clear! <laughs> Would you buy that? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's, it's the buff bouncing hunk of wallpaper. 
This is how they should have marketed Tempon to your soul fucking riot. Is this it? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> we only have her room left. Oh my god. Dude, I wanted more. I wanted different outfits, man. If they gotta do something, they have to stick to it. Wait, is this one is this not in is this not in English? Hold up. Oh, I think I know what happened. Is it only this one that's not translated? Yeah, hold up. I'm like trying to like. Hold up. Okay. The most scuffed game ever, dude. <laughs> hey, cutie. Welcome to my room. Make yourself at home. You can also try clicking on the depth names to the right if you want. Nyanra. This term for me saying, wouldn't it be cool if we had a fan disc parroting one for the 90s? Into a full blown thing that captured my idea incredibly well, which is amazing. I'm so blessed to have a team that I could have a blast creating this with. I truly feel like NSO has become something we can freely unleash our fun and creativity with. Really good art, yeah. We had an absolute ball with this, so I would like to pass those feelings on to all our players too. It will really make our day. The main, the main game didn't really go much into what the days with Ami involved, so I was really happy that we got the opportunity to expand on that with the bonus content here. Oh, see, I told you guys, this is basically like a continuation of the game. It kind of works as like a prequel and a continuation. Yeah, I like this frame a lot. Hey, cutie, welcome to my room. Make yourself at home. You can also try clicking on the depth name to the right if you want. Wait, just that? Not, not even the other things? These are just dev messages, that's cute. I'm Saito, the producer. I love these kinds of mini games and short visual novels. I think everyone should make more of them. I'm so happy to get to share these with you today. Ah, Yuba Short though, that's so cute. I'm Alino, and I did the art for Ami in the VN. I spent a lot of time getting to know her properly, racking my brain for how she would feel during certain parts. I'm very lucky to have been blessed with the opportunity to capture her cuteness. That's so cute! Unica. I'm Unica, and I had a script for the VN. I'm really glad I was able to write something to show off all of Amma's charms and quirks. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I did. That's cute! I'm Mumi, and I oversaw the production of the bonus Don't Die Kangel game. It's a casual and quick paced game that I hope you all enjoy. I also made the super cute Kangel animation that pops up when you win, so keep your eyes peeled for that too. I love the art style. Nenai. Hi, I'm Nenai. I was in charge of the staff messages page and launcher. <laughs> so he's the one responsible for me doing multiple captures, huh? <laughs> Along with the blood breaking game. Both of us from our circle, ooh, helped out, but I'll be speaking today as a group rep. The staff messages section pays so much to a famous PC-98 game and the blood breaker one from PC-88. I feel like you can only really get this kinds of things in fan discs. And this is probably one of the few chances in the modern age where you'll get to experience something this retro, even when it comes to NSO content. So I really hope you all have fun with it. Lastly, thank you to all the players who have played the masterpieces from that era, and to those who are giving this a go. See you all around then. then we got Peposoft. Hello! I did the NSO as effects, the window startup sound, the train jingle, ooh. And the SFX and background music for the block breaking game. It was really good. I drew heavy inspiration for the original game that it was based on and played around with overtones and FM synthesis to make the final product. It ended up pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> That's so cute, dude. This is like such a nice way to actually highlight and like thank and thank the, the developers. Because you know they work super hard to make games like this. They work super hard to make like very nice, like like you know little like sections like this that kind of like pay homage to like very classic like elements and stuff like that and i think it's really really nice 
I think it's really nice. It's short. It's very sweet. It's very straight to the point. It's not too much like, oh, I did this and I did that. And the reason why X, Y, and C happen is because X, Y, and C happen. No, it's actually really sweet and very, very like, you know, short. It's, it's amazing work. It's actually really, really good. I have fun. And this is only the first volume, which means that they're probably going to make even more like short size games like this and like short elements, which I really like. I really like. I think it's really sick. I think it's really, really, really good. I think it's really nice. Sadly, though, we basically finished the whole thing. We can return back to the menu. You kind of can see like the overlay. These are like the I'm as happy, happy dating game. I don't know who this Ame is, but I bet she's pretty cute. Which means you get to go on a date with a cute girl. Isn't that exciting? Don't die, Kangel. A shitting game where I get to raise down some nerds. But first, go take a shower. Break out, Kangel. A block-breaking game that reveals stuff. But don't you dare play it, because it's super embarrassing. They probably translated that from Hasukashi. Kangel's room. I like Kangel's room. Let's go back to Kangel's room. The music's cute. <laughs> All right, dude. It's it's the satsu section of the game. Satsu, satsu, satsu. Okay, just a heads up. Tomorrow, the Tempers Armist Edition collab is actually at 10 p.m. EST, not um, 8 p.m. I got that wrong. I'm I'm very used I'm very used to it to being like you know like 8 p.m. So it's actually at 10 p.m. EST. It's gotta be super super fun. I'm actually really, really excited for it. I can't wait for you guys to like see it. I'm gonna be making a waiting room after this stream, and I'm also gonna be making a tweet so you guys can have all that information there. I ho really hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys like it. I had a blast doing it with the with, with the Tempest boys, so I'm very excited to have more victims. I mean, participants in my little game. <laughs> oh my god, that was, a, that was a fun though. It was a fun game. It was a nice way to like chillax and relax. You know, just have like a nice um throwback to like nso because i actually really enjoy playing the game it was really really sick more game show host haka <laughs> you guys really like that one huh makes me really happy you guys are gonna love it it's gotta be exciting i hope you guys give it lots of love lots of support be there tomorrow 10 p.m est <laughs> i'm probably gonna end the stream here hakitos because i have not had dinner and i actually do have to get all the setup ready for tomorrow uh do all that upload the Upload the freaking uh, thumbnail to Twitter, make the announcement, make the waiting room. So I'm probably going to end it here because I actually do have a lot of work to do. But I'm very excited. Thank you for coming to this like cute little stream. It was a very nice, silly game. Honestly, really chill game. It's always nice to have like chill sessions like this. And it was also very like, you know, nice to be able to hang out with you guys. So yeah. <laughs> From your internet angel, Bonsling Haka. I wish you all a good sleep. Grab your phone, put it away, tuck yourself in, have a warm milky, a uh, hot choco, and sleep, okay? <laughs> now here comes my final bless! <laughs> okay, Hakitos, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 p.m. EST, okay? Don't forget, be there, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be nice. I'll catch you guys later, okay? I'm gonna send you guys over to Shinri, make sure to give him lots of love. I'm not sure what game he's playing, but it definitely will be fun. Okay. I'll see you guys, okay, uh, to Shinri, and make sure to give him lots of love, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Haka la vista! Bye-bye! No, wait, wait. I must send you guys over to Fuma Senpai. He is doing a Valentine's stream. Thank him. Give him lots of love for the cover today. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you for the cover. And then you guys can go and say hi to Shinri, okay? Make sure to give lots of love to Fuma Senpai. Congratulate him on the cover that we did. It's really good. Go check it out. Night Dancer and his channel. I made a very nice duet. Go, 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 go. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, okay? Haka la vista.